Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day two of our Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box openings. Uh, yesterday was a really successful day. We got that Sylveon, we got that EV, and of course we got the Tag Team promo card, which we're going to get in all three of these. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with day two opening of Elite Trainer Box number two. Um, I am going to do all three of them. I'm going to open all three of them. I'm not, uh, not going to keep them sealed. I'm not going to, you know, try to... Hold on to them as long as I can so the prices can go up. You know, I'm really excited to open these. They're mine, and I really want to open them. I want to see what I can get out of them. I really do enjoy collecting. I do enjoy, you know, opening these packs and seeing what I can get. Yeah, if I pull something huge, I'll sell it. But for the most part, what I sell... Okay, all right. You stay right there. Got it. We're good. For the most part, what I sell is what I use in order to fund my next purchase for Pokemon cards and stuff. I'm trying to make a little business out of it. You know, I'm trying to trying to do that type of stuff, but I, I just get too excited about cracking these packs and opening them. So the uh, the promo I got from yesterday's box looked like it could be a ten. Honestly, it was perfect. This one is not far from that as well. That's insane. I might just have to get these graded. I, I, I really might. Because the value of the graded uh, birds cards is out of the roof for the uh, promo ones. If it costs 50 bucks a piece to grade them, and they're going for about 300 bucks in a PSA 10, it's worth it, you know? It takes a little time, but you get your money back. You got 5, 10. Oh, man, here we go. Day number two. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and take our little birdies out of there. Little promo birdies out of their package. Get them all sleeved up. Always got to be careful when you're opening these. Very easy to damage the card the slightest if you don't do it just right. Alright, there we go. Birds number two. Alright, let's get to opening these packs. Let's start off with the birds. Just like we did. Yeah, yesterday we started out with Mew. That's fine. We got to change it up today. All right, can we get a first pack magic like we did yesterday with Sylveon GX? How about a Leafeon? I'm down for a Leafeon. Maybe an Umbreon? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. A code card. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we can do with this first pack. Fire energy. That's exciting. Of course, a Charmeleon. This, is that a sign? I mean, seriously. I believe in signs. And a Charmander. It only makes sense if we finish the evolution tree. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. Every time, every time I see a full art, I think of Charizard. Every single time. You know, I don't know what it is. But we did get Nihilego GX, which is still a really good full art. Anytime you get a full art... GX from Hidden Fates, it's just, I mean, it's fantastic. It's awesome. You know, people may say, oh, well, the value of that one's not as good as it. It doesn't matter. It's a full art GX from debatably one of the best sets of modern times. I mean, this set has to be, you know, debatably the best set. I'm t I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This set is just ridiculous. Ekans, Geodude. And not to mention we have, you know, Shining Fates coming out next week. Blaine's Last Stand. And of course, it's only appropriate to get a Mew out of a Mew pack. So that makes sense. Which is fine. Alright, pack number three. Our good old Mewtwo. Can we get a Mewtwo GX? I mean, who's, who's on board with that? I know I am. I pulled one before, but I did go ahead and sell it, um, just because the price was too good. But it's actually twenty dollars higher than what I sold it, sold it for. So I uh, sold it for fifty. Now it's selling for around seventy, probably higher than that. I need to check it. I don't check enough. That's all right. Caterpie, Charmeleon Reverse, and a Golem. Golem's a pretty common rare to get. Honestly, I, I can't even tell you how many Golems I have. From Hidden Fates. It's... Oh my gosh. Come on, cards. Y'all can do this. See, that's how you know they're in pristine shape. When they're just slip sliding all over each other. Alright. Can we get a Charizard out of, our, out of our first Charizard pack? 
like I said, it only makes sense. It's only appropriate. All right, this is pack number four. See what we can do. Boom! Fairy energy. Giovanni's Exile. Koga's Trap. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Magic Art. Coughing! Play fairy! Star you. Jigglypuff! Ooh, what do we got? We got that reverse Eevee. How much you want to bet we have the regular Eevee? Oh, hey! We got the Mewtwo GX regular full art. I actually haven't pulled this card yet, so this is really good. This is awesome. I can add it to the collection. Let's add it to the collection. It's always it's always a good pack opening when you can add a card to the collection that you want to add to it. So don't be just discouraged because it's not the most you know valuable or sought after card in the set. You know, you gotta find a positive in every card you pull. That's the way I see it. You know, if you're only looking for one card out of a certain set, I would say just buy that card flat out. Don't, you know, unless you're that person who has to pull it, don't don't open packs and you know waste hundreds of dollars potentially trying to pull one card that you're looking for. All right, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Misty's Determination. That's just my, you know, that's just my opinion about the matter. Jinx. Cubone. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Can we get... Can we get a shiny? Oh! Oh my gosh, let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad I pulled another one because I sold my first one. Oh man, I'm so glad I just pulled this. Oh my gosh. Centering's off from... It's a little off top to bottom, left to right, but that's okay. Hey, this is this is amazing. I mean, this is awesome. Charmander from the Shiny Vault. Oh my gosh, that's such a good pull. We got Eevee yesterday, now we got Charmander today. These boxes are amazing so far. I mean, I would consider these boxes a complete and utter win. You know, you, you always contemplate opening something that when you buy at Walmart is way more valuable online to sell. It's like, is it even worth it to open the boxes? Because I could have turned around and sold each box for $170 a piece if I wanted to. You know, but then I'm just going to sit there and stare at them and think, I really wanted to open those. I really wanted to. And now that I'm getting these pulls, you know, we got Sylveon, we got Charmander, we got Eevee. It was more than worth it. More than worth it. I mean, gosh, you just, you can't go wrong. Graveler. Chansey. I bet getting that Graveler means we're going to get a Golem. I'm just saying, I'm calling it now. Charmander. The Shiny Volt Charmander is just, it outdoes the regular one by tenfold. Oh, what do you know? Of course. Uh, we got a Weezing, not a Golem, which is, which is Golem. Just fine. Charmander. Charmander. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put those things side by side. All right, can we pull something special? So we pulled one full art so far. Nihalego, Nihalego. I don't even know how to say that Pokemon's name, honestly. GX, that was our full art so far in terms of the Shiny Vault. Of course, we pulled Mewtwo, but uh, Mewtwo from the Shiny Vault would have been a lot better. You know, beggars can't be choosers, though. Beggars can't be choosers. Leaf Energy. I really want the Leaf Energy Secret Rare. I've contemplated buying it. I even ordered a few Guardian, Guardian Risings packs, uh, Guardians Rising packs online, just to see, see if I could pull it, which of course I didn't. All right, Geodude. Oh, look at that beautiful Zapdos. That's such a beautiful holographic card. It really is, you know. Oh man. All right, we got three more packs from this box. It's crazy to think, you know, a regular Elite Trainers box has eight packs. These special, you know, holiday, whatever you want to call them, um, sets have ten. Like, Champion's Bath has ten. Hidden Fates has ten. Shining, Shining Legends has ten. Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Marfetched, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy. Can we get the Charmeleon? Oh, wait, wrong card. Charmeleon! Metapod, Electrode, Non-Hollow. Hey, that's not bad. Oh, nope. Electrode, you are non-hollow. You go in that pile. Sorry about you, buddy. All right, two more packs. And, of course, both packs are the Legendary Birds. All right. Wow. That 
has to be the hardest pack I've ever opened in my life. And of course, it's going to be the Charizard, the pack that I potentially damage cards from. All right, Missy's Determination, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile that I finally pulled the full art version of, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Char Char. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got Matang! This is my first time getting Matang. Oh, man, let's go. And then, of course, Gollum. Nice, beautiful, beautiful card from the Shiny Volt. I do not have Matang yet, so this is a win. This is a huge win. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's going in the bottom of that pile because we want to keep that Charmander on top. Shining bright. All right, last pack. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Can we get some last pack magic? What about a Charizard? Who's thinking Charizard? <clears throat> I'm thinking Charizard. I'm also thinking of Evolution. I don't know. I don't know, you know? One of the two. I think I see something there. It's, it's bolded. Oh, man. I always look on the side. I'm telling you. It's like, it's like instinct. It's not good. Oh, there's something there. There's something there. I don't know if it's in the shiny volt spot. It's not. Oh, you see that A, though? Boom! Oh, my gosh. Per most... I've never seen this shiny card. That is beautiful. And then... Another Mewtwo GX. Hey, we'll take that. Another Mewtwo GX full art. And then a Furamosa. Yeah, I think I said that right. Anyways, hey, that's awesome. What a successful opening. Let's do a little recap, and then we'll call that good. All right, of course, the biggest hitter of this one was the Charmander. We got the Nihilego GX, Mewtwo GX, Matang, Furamosa. Oh, yeah, two Mewtwo GXs. I got to slow down. Anyways, hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, Bayrat out.